22 days till NaNoWriMo. Do you have your idea for what you're writing about yet? Yes. Uh... Don't be too worried if you answered no or sort of to that question. There's still plenty of time, and you don't have to know everything about your novel. Last year, all I knew was that I was writing about magical con artists. And the year before that, all I knew was that I was writing a love story between the laird of an estate and a con artist, who actually didn't end up together. Hmm. We write about con artists a lot. Con artists are awesome. Anyway, even if you don't have a plot, don't worry about it. Today we're talking about characters. Maybe you'll come up with a character and find a plot to go around them. If you do have a plot, maybe you'll find some characters to slip into it. Building characters depends on what you have so far. So to begin with, let's say you have a plot, but no characters. This has never happened to me. Well, what would you do if you had a plot and no characters? I'm glad you asked. If you have a plot, really think about it. What kind of story is it? Is it a quest? A mystery? A war? The best thing to do is sit down and ask yourself questions. If it's a quest, what sort of questing group do you want? A group of heroes ready for adventure? Bounty hunters in it for the treasure? A group of ordinary people who get thrown into it because they have to save their home? If it's a mystery, who do you want to solve it? An inquisitive teenager who just happens to be there? A licensed private detective? A savvy cop? The murder suspect trying to clear his name? If it's a war, who do you want to focus on? The general? The princess the villains are trying to assassinate? A common soldier? So you just start asking questions. Exactly. I just threw those questions out off the top of my head, and I already have a bunch of ideas for characters. Think about your story and ask yourself some questions. While you're doing that, we're going to move on to the next group, which is you have characters, but no plot. This happens to me all the time. I'm really just going to tell you guys to do the same thing. Just ask yourself different types of questions. What time period and setting would your character live in? What's most important to them? Are they the type to start their own adventures, or do they have to be dragged along kicking and screaming? What do they want most? What do they fear most? Ooh, these are fun questions! Once you have answers, build your plot around that. Make them fight for what they love by facing what they fear. <laughs> Now for the last group. You have no plot and no characters. My advice to you is to think about what you enjoy writing about. Do you like writing about con artists or do you want to write about fairies? Look at some prompts, think about characters, but really don't stress about it. Write for the love of it. Find something fun to write about. Now we should all be on the same page. Vague ideas of character and plot. Uh-huh. So, how do we develop our heroes? We're only talking about good guys today? Yeah, we'll talk about villains later. Cool. Wake me up then. News! Good guys are interesting too. In fact, I prefer writing heroes to villains. Really? Yes. And if you don't, you're not writing the right sort of heroes. Heroes should be complicated. There should be a constant struggle inside of them between right and wrong. Being good is hard sometimes. Being evil is easy. Your character should have to struggle with the weight of the world on their shoulders. Okay, that does sound interesting. So come up with some good, strong flaws for your character. Maybe they're proud and will do anything to protect their image. Maybe they have a major fear of heights or of death or of clowns. Maybe they feel like they have to do everything alone so they don't put others in danger. Maybe they never forgive. But how do you get your characters to overcome their faults? The difference between a hero and a villain is that a hero has something more important to them than their own personal agenda. If your hero is proud, maybe he can swallow his pride to save his kingdom. If your heroine's afraid of heights, perhaps she can cross a tightrope to save a child. If your hero feels they have to do everything alone, maybe they realize they have to get help or fail. If your heroine never forgives, maybe she realizes her own happiness is worth more than her hate. So, offer them something greater than their fault. Exactly. All I'm doing here is throwing out hypotheticals. You can do the same. If you want more advice on writing characters, check out my video on talking to fictional characters, as well as the one on torturing those you love. I also posted some of my favorite character sheets in the underbar, and I started a thread on NaNoWriMo where our characters can get on and chat to each other, so go check that out. So, what is your hero like? Let us know as a comment or a video response. I love hearing from you guys. Still don't have a character? Here are some novel ideas to help you out. Name, Paul, age 17. Wants to be a war hero. Fears, letting his father down, the dentist. Fault, proud, naive. Name, Victoria, age 23. Wants to be famous. Fears, 
rejection, bees. Fault, insecure, gossip. Your character is a superhero who just wants a quiet life. A prince who wants to be king, but fears he isn't good enough. A magical being trying to live a normal life among non-magic people. Thanks for watching, and happy writing! Your ears flap, and it's awesome! Flappy ears. Flappy ears. Flappy ears!